and this is Alec coming to you with another Warcraft 3 audio commentary. Uh, so today we'll be having Rage.Yumiko, also known as Yumiko, spawning as the great human player in the top left hand position of Twisted Meadows. And his opponent in the Zotac Cup, the 225th I think, 224th, 225th, will be the Red Orc player Faya in the top right hand position on Twisted Meadows. So I've been gone for the whole weekend, uh, I was out skiing actually to be honest, and now I'm back and I'm going to try and get out more commentaries every day if possible, and I have turned down my music because after the last few the last few commentaries the music has been really really high and it's really hard to hear me, so I've already done that, so hopefully it's that much more enjoyable for the viewers. But let's get back into the game, Faya, a uh, pretty well known orc player. He has uh, been around for a long time. Hasn't you haven't heard that him doing that much too recently? But uh, he's a great player. He's got a lot of lot of skill. I mean, one of the top players in the world, in my opinion. He just hasn't done that much with his. You haven't heard him do win very many tournaments just recently at all. So Fire looks like he's going to be doing a very interesting start. Going to be going for Farce here as his first hero. So we may be seeing some uh, early Farce, uh, some early Farce here. Uh, on on uh, Yumiko, who's already putting up his first tower, scout tower, because he um, knows that that Arcane Tower will be very important for when fending off those wolves when they come and try and take out some of these militia. Uh, Yumiko is going to be doing creeping out his natural creep spot with his Archmage as fast as possible before that Archmage can find the time can get over there. Because uh, if that our Archer does get over there, it is possible for Yumiko to creep this out fast enough so that he can get all of his um, militia back home and say and uh, not uh, he can get all of his militia back home and not get creep jack at all. But he has to creep this as fast as possible. Doing a pretty good job. It looks like he should get to level two after creeping this out. He should be level 2.2 or something around that. Since he's getting out both uh, all of his wolves each corner of the map so that he can have the best scouting capabilities possible. As Yumiko has not upgraded that Arcane Tower just yet, we should be seeing that upgraded very, very soon. As Yumiko should be finishing off this camp momentarily. As his first, first footman will be coming in just right about now. As he also did send out this footman scout to scout out for himself. Faya, now that he knows exactly where um, exactly where Yumiko is, he's going to be coming in with a, one grunt and his feral spears to try and get off as many peasant kills as he possibly can. It looks like he's going to get, he should get two peasant kills at least. He has two peasant kills, which is already a successful harass, if that's, even if that's all he gets. Maybe he wants to try and get one more peasant kill, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to get it. Instead, he decides to get a few nice hits off on that Archmage, that level 2.3 Archmage. And Farseer already level 1.5, so that's pretty decent actually for an Orc Farseer. Because honestly, with a Farseer, you're not really thinking about doing, getting some good or as much as best harassment as you would in the early game, as like a Blade Master for it, for example. It's a lot harder with a Farseer, a lot less DPS. And these Feral Spirits are not nearly as good as Windwalk, obviously. But but uh, Farseer, you can you really capitalize with Farseer later on in the game. There's a lot of very good uh, unit comp unit uh, compositions you can go with with a far tier. There's also a lot of very good uh, hero combos you can go with with far tier, like a fire lord, like a beast master. There's a lot of there's a lot of very good um, hero combos with uh, just uh, with a lot of summons. You can just get off a lot of summons. Like if you go fire lord, you can get a lot of lava spawns and feral spirits, which are pretty e really effective, especially against a human player. Or if you go beast match, those cool beasts are very good in a in an orc uh, a mirror match, for example. And we may see Fire go for a creep jack here, and I think he got it actually. I think he did get that creep jack. Very nicely done by him. Let's see that arc mage. Yeah, it looks like he did get that creep jack. That was pretty nice by him. Um, I may be wrong though, so don't don't quote me on that. Anyways, let's see the how the text it the, how. It, the tech is going. Fire already got up to tier, already has his tier two finished. Does have that third burrow up. We may see him drop uh, a beast man, beast cherry, and a spirit lodge momentarily. Maybe as soon as he gets the resources, he should be seeing a spirit lodge, and maybe that fourth burrow gonna go up as well. Uh, Jumiko gonna be dropping an arcane vault, the lumber mill. So he may, and it's about 1.5. Uh, and his tech is about point f um, 
50% done. Sorry. And look at this. Just as I called it, fire. Gonna be going for Fire Lord as a second hero with these lava ponds. Uh, lava spawns are so very so, so incredibly effective. We may see him kill off one uh, water elemental, which and they do feed a lot of experience to those heroes. And it looks like Fire may lose his uh, Farseer. Yes, uh, level one Farseer will will fall. Not too, not that big of a, a loss for for Fire. It won't be. Be that big of a loss in the long, in the long run, for ex um, really that much. Fire gonna be really. I think he's winning this fight right now. He hasn't lost any units, I don't think, and uh, except for that one grunt he did lose before. But he's gonna be able to take down a water elemental. Takes down a peon as well. We may see a lava spawn fall though. Does not want to lose this lava spawn. Oh, that's too bad. Now the archmage will get to level three. He does have those, in those those um water, those level two water elementals, which are so so much better against um. Uh, when it comes to, compared to level one water elementals, so a lot more hit points, a lot more damage, a lot more DPS, and just just a lot better all, all around. As Yumiko is going to try to heal up his his little footman army that he's got going, as his tech's going to try and finish, he's going to put up more towers into space. He does have a lumber mill down, so he will be able to get um, uh, our tower. So he may be seeing some sort of a timing push. Yumiko has some sort of a timing planned. I would not be surprised if that's exactly what we were going to, about to see. As uh, the shock for Yumiko is going to fall, and he did not get any, any sort of last-minute mining fun. But it looks like Yumiko is going to be going for the base trade, picking up a Beastmaster. These cool beasts are so effective against Burrows. They have that increased damage against those Burrows, and that's exactly what um, Yumiko is going to do. He's going to focus on those Burrows with those cool beasts and with that those heroes and those water elementals. All these summons do do extra damage against those burrows, and look, he's probably going to take another burrow, and he forced the TP from Fire, which is really bad. Fire going for his first wiver, going to be going for um, wyverns or wind riders. Sorry, going to be already has three three wind riders. Up. They're so so effective uh, against footmen, obviously, because footmen are melee pack, but they're not so good against water elementals. Those water elementals and that archmage. And those cool beasts actually, they can take down those wind riders very, very easily. They're very, very effective. Ooh, oh, we did not see the cancel of that. Um, we did not see the experience denied from the beast master of uh, Yumiko. I'm very surprised that we didn't see that. And uh, now the footmen are just like flies, basically, to these to the spears of these wind riders. These wind riders are just so incredibly effective. But now the cool beasts are going to come in and try and get off some nice hits off on these wind riders. But very nice. Micro here by Fire. Fire really playing this pretty nicely, playing these wind riders. And it's very nicely, the it's pretty hard to have uh, good wind rider micro, especially for by an orc player. You really need to be very good at it. It takes a lot of skill. As Fire is supply blocked right now, 40 over 30. He's going to be dropping two burrows because of the because of the one burrow he did lose. So let's see what's happening now in the base of Yumiko. Yumiko going to be killing off a few more wolves, a few more units. I'm going to be getting off some nice experience, but look at this, Fire. Perfect rider harassment right now. This is exactly what you want to do when you have wind riders. Going to be killing off a, a lot of um, peasants. And look at this, Yumiko going to be putting up his own kit, little counter, Griffin Aviary. Going to be getting some riders, which are basically the, the perfect counter to wind riders. With that, uh, those shackles, those uh, aerial shackles, I think they're called. I haven't seen this for a while, a wind rider, Griffin rider matched up. Uh, this is a very, uh, why am I saying Griffin Rider? Dragonhawk Rider, sorry. This is a, yeah, this is a really an old school style of strategy. Um, this is an old school game. You rarely see this in, um, sort of modern day matchups, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it. But Faya very smartly gonna be going for Raiders with Ensnare so they can Ensnare those Dragonhawk Riders the best that he can to try to sort of counter this as best he can. So both players gonna be going for the counters to be just sort of countering each other's units as best as they can. More dragon as the first dragon hawk rider is gonna be coming out for you both players are gonna decide to creep up their heroes. Let's see the hero levels. Two two for five up almost level three for both his heroes. While Yumiko does have a level three five rock mage and a level one beast master. So pretty even heroes honestly I'd say five maybe a little bit ahead but even even so, not really. Uh, if he does get manage to get those both the tiers to three, then I, I'd say he'd probably be ahead. But for now, I'd say it's pretty even. Unless he does these uh, a few creep kills here. No, he did not finish off that one creep. I'm very surprised to see this. But we've seen engagement here. Pretty nice little chokehold here. A nice chokehold. Uh, 
This is exactly what Yumiko's looking for. He wants to get these little chokeholds so he can put his footmen up in the front and have all of his casters in the back. While uh, Faya really wants to start more of an open sort of space. And let's see what's going to happen here. A lot of Dragonhawk Riders are going to fall. A couple of Wind Riders are going to fall. We may see more Dragon fall. Grunts are falling. Wind Riders are falling. Close to the very last Wind Rider. Beastmaster very low on hit points. Going to try and run back. But he looks like he's getting very low on hit points. Very nice there. Use of a healing potion by uh, Yumiko. And the Archmage is going to get ensnared. And we may see a surround. Ooh, very nice surround there by Faya. And the Archmage is going to be forced to teleport out of there. Use a scroll to on That's 350 gold down the drain. And he did pull a militia as well. Wow, I don't know who was ahead after that. Let's see the hero levels just to compare. Level 3, and basically level 3 for Faya. And let's see how Yumiko did there. Ooh, wow, I really think Yumiko won that fight. We'll check out those hero levels. Almost level 4 and level 2.5. So I think Yumiko really came out ahead there. He killed off three, it might even be, be four Wind Riders. He also killed off a few Grunts too. Very effective job. Very nicely done there by Yumiko to repel that. But it looks like he's going to be losing these few Quilbeats who are going to feed quite a bit of experience actually. Unless his Quilbeats may expire, let's see. And it looks like he did get the kill. But then again, I'm not sure. So he does have level, Faya does have level three on both of his heroes. So it is pretty even right now. Actually, I think that, actually, to be honest, I think that Faya might actually be ahead right now. Maybe not after this creeping, though. Yumiko picking up a bunch of mercs as well, just to sort of aid him in this. So we're going to push here from Faya with these level 2 spir feral spirits and these level 2 um, lava spawns we should be seeing in a moment. We're going to probably see the shop fall to the hands of these rangers. I'm not sure if they have pillage. That'd be kind of interesting if they did. He probably really wants to research village if he doesn't already have it. One farm gonna fall, one shop gonna fall, so fire already a little bit ahead, popping that post uh, scroll of speed as he's gonna try and run out if you're trying finding a good position, but he's really taking a lot of damage as he's trying to do this. Maybe not the smartest thing to be doing there by him, as Yumiko very smartly pulled those militia and tried to get off as much damage as he could. And nice surround on those grunts, this grunt will fall. A little bit of um, last minute damage there by that grunt, but it will be of no prevail as it will fall. Let's see, you've level 4 Archmage for Yumiko, almost level 3 Beastmaster for Yumiko, so I really think that uh, uh, he's really getting high on these hero levels. If that Archmage gets to level 5, that's really bad. A level 5 Archmage and a level 3 Beastmaster, you get those level 2 Quill Beasts and those level 3 Water Elementals are pretty damn hard to stop. We meet the Dragonhawk Rider get focused down here as Footmen are going to fall, Feral Spirits are going to fall, Beastmaster getting to level 3, very dangerous that Beastmaster. Well, another Feral Spirit is going to fall, uh, Lava Spawn, sorry, is going to fall. And going for Bears actually, uh, Beastmaster, not going to go going for that Hawk. He's in, that Hawk does uh, reveal invisible units, but uh, for some reason he's not going to be going for that. Uh, you know, you almost always see that Hawk sort of coming out. But again, then again, I think it is a little bit smart because Yumiko is going to be going for mainly air. Going to be going for casters as well, it looks like. Going to be dropping a double arcane sanctum. Going to be going for sorceresses, which is another, basically the perfect counter to this actually right now. Because um, Faya actually has no... No... Um, uh, uh, forces are under attack. Uh, damn, what are those things called with this spell? Uh, crap. Spear walkers, that's what they're called. Spirit walkers, he will have no spirit walkers with that dispel info, so probably not the pretty pretty nice counter actually. This should this might actually be exactly what Yumiko needs to finish this battle off. Really nicely done here by Yumiko as well, bringing in that cool beast, bringing in these casters to try and kill off these burrows. If he can actually take down that burrow, that'd be pretty sweet. That that could really give him a pretty big advantage actually. As Faya doing a nice job of creeping both of his heroes, almost level four, both of those heroes, which would be pretty really um would probably give him the upper hand in this fight. Well, let's see how much money's left in the main gold mines. Four thousand five hundred to four thousand to about four thousand one hundred. So still, uh, we both have a lot of time left in both players for mining. And Fai is going to be losing that one burrow, so that's really bad because now he's supply blocked and there's no, he cannot get any more units. This is pretty bad. He wants to start healing up this one burrow. Yumiko's just going to continuously take down this burrow. Oh no, no, sorry. There's going to be an engagement here by Faya between Faya and Yumiko. Uh, Farts are going to get to level 4. Fire Lord should be getting level 4 very soon. Very nice use of these casters by both players. For only one Wind Rider out for Faya though, unfortunately. That uh, 
Ogre Mauler is going to be falling as, as well to the hand of all these grunts. Very nice use of the scroll of protection for the increased armor on all of these. Yumiko's arc range, very low in hit points, but uh, heals it just in time to save both of his hero and the rest of his army. So, Fai, a very nice engagement for Fai. He has a really nice item on that uh, Fire Lord, Aerial Fluid of Accuracy. Increased um, damage for all of those ranged units, like the Wind Rider. So, the Wind Rider does get plus 4 damage and said before and the Troll Berserker as well, the, Mer the Mercs that he picked up before, they will also have increased damage. And also just to deny the item from Yumiko's really nice. We may see him sell it though, I wouldn't be surprised, it's 200 gold to sell it, that's another, that's a whole nother, that's another grunt if he wants to, if you think of it that way. So let's see what's gonna happen now, looks like Faya deciding to creep out this orange camp, a lot of creeping spots in this camp just because it is a 2v2, it's a, there's four spawning places, it's meant as a 2v2 map, but it is actually mainly used more of a, as a 1v1 map, you see it more. Uh, you rarely see 2v2s, well you, you don't rarely see 2v2s, you just see more 1v1s on this map than 2v2s. As Yumiko is going to be trying to take down more and more bros with these casters, but he won't be able to because of the ensnare of these raiders. And he will be able to get back just in time, but we may see an engagement here, this is exactly what Yumiko wants. We may see an engagement here, a lot of very low hit points. Orc units, but a very nice scroll of healing to heal them all up, sort of. Uh, Yumiko probably really wants to take this fight. There's a lot of pretty low hit point units here for Faya, and he does have no dispel, no spirit walkers at all. So these sword just will be really, really effective. This could be GG for Faya if he if he takes this fight. He really does not want to get take this fight unless he needs a really good position, really good positioning if he wants to do well. And looks like Faya gonna be forced to take this fight. He does not have he does not have dispel though. Unfortunately, Beastmaster getting very low in hit points. We may see a Beastmaster fall. Yes, and the Beastmaster is going to fall. Fire is going to be using a scroll of protection to try and save as many units as he can because he and using scroll of protect, scroll of speed to try and deny all of this slow. And it's really working out for him actually. He's going to be able to take down a lot of sorceresses. We may see more and more ensnares though off on all of these sorceresses. There we go. A lot of ensnares off on all of these sorceresses. Two sorceresses have already fallen. A lot of orc units are going to fall as well. More and more sorceresses are falling. It looks like. This bear not really sure what he's doing actually. These sorcerers look like they're going to be saved. All these orc units are slow. They probably want. If you had another scroll of speed, it wouldn't be a bad idea to use it. But no, no scroll of speed there for Faya. More. All these wind riders are now are now gone. A lot of all these orc units are very low in hit points. And it looks like Faya is actually winning this fight. And amazingly, Faya is not going to. Looks like he isn't winning this fight. He needs to get his heroes up to level five if he wants to do, be able to do anything. Looks like he's going to make an effort, at, one last effort at taking down this Archmage, level 5 Archmage, level 5.5, almost level 6. Ooh, very nice use of invisibility, but now the fire, level 4 Fire Lord might fall. As it looks like the Archmage is going to finish it off. Let's see what the Fire Lord can do. Down to 18 hit points, going to be using a his healing salve. Oh my god. This is incredible, 1v1. Oh my god. Level 5 on the Fire Seer, level 5 on the Fire, almost level 5 on the Fire Lord. Very nice use of denying that he the healing salve. Probably one does not want to engage with this Fire Lord. The Fire Lord could fall. This is probably not the smartest idea by Fire. Oh no, now that the Fire Lord is out of range of those other units. But could get slowed here by the Sorcerers. If that Sorcerers can get a nice slow off on that Fire Lord. Fall. These invisible Pharaoh Streets so will be able to do, to do a lot of damage. Now that this Fire Lord is very low in hit points. Ooh no, he may fall to this Water Elemental. Holy crap. But now more and more cas. How much money's left? Only 1,400 gold left. So these both these players want to be very um, careful about what they do with their money. If this fire lord gets slowed, and this and the far seer for that matter could also get slowed. Level five far. Not want to lose that level five far seer. Ooh, look at this nice, very nice pathing by the hit one little militia. Holy crap! Very nicely done. You may see two more uh, raiders fall now to the hands of uh, to the hands of Yumiko, to the casters and the militia of Yumiko. There we go. One raider gonna fall. We may see another raider fall. Wow, this is such an incredible game. All, all level five, basically level five on both of the five heroes, and level almost level six archmage. A level six archmage is exactly what Yumiko needs right now to come back and win this. If he can pull this off, and that would be really incredible. Uh, we see, do we see a spirit lodge just yet? No, still not spirit lodge. I'm very surprised. Actually, Fire finally gonna finish off that one burrow. It looks like. And he will no longer be supply blocked. He's going to be going for that, that um, classic 60 food army. 
that uh, pretty good uh, that all powerful 60 food on me that orcs can that orcs can do so that so easily I just gonna be picking up more and more um, more and more summons it looks like a lot of raiders now as well for Faya. Faya probably does not want to be taking this engagement oh no we may see the Archmage fall now probably wants to buy the potion of healing can he reach the potion of healing oh no there we go gonna be buying the potion of healing holy crap we may see the uh, Beastmaster fall oh yes and we're gonna see a scroll of FIFA teleportation very nicely played by Faya holy crap I really like the way he's playing this this is really incredible oh my god and somehow he's using Dispel. I'm not really sure how he's doing that. We may see a scroll of speed being used. I would not be surprised if we saw a scroll of speed. We need a scroll of speed now. We may see the Fire Lord fall, but no Fire Lord. Slow is going to expire on that Fire Lord, it looks like. As more and more raiders are going to fall, we may, we're going to see more and more raiders getting queued up as well. The gold main gold mine should be running up very momentarily. Let's see the upgrades on these raiders. Still only zero. These um, sources are only at ADFs. With these level 3 water elementals, though, these heroes of fire want to be, be very careful. We may see more and more um, units going to be falling to the hands of these water elementals. These water elements are just so, so strong, but they but they do feed a lot of experience, so Yumiko probably does not want to lose that. That one water elemental will feed a lot of experience. Probably wants to kill that one water elemental, or no, he's going to focus down the Archmage, it looks like. Oh no, very nice use of invisibility, and we may see the one this one water elemental fall. Probably wants to kill it before it expires. I don't know why he's letting that one water elemental expire. I don't know why he did that. Probably just isn't focused as much as he should be, as he's focusing more on this Archmage, it looks like. We may see Spellbreaker fall here as well. As, uh, looks like Yumiko going to be pulling a bunch of militia. So we may see him drop some towers as well, which would be very interesting to see. If he decides to drop some towers, you may see a surround on this one troll berserker. Very nice surround on that one troll berserker to kill that with those militia. That's already worth pulling all those militia just for that. We may see towers being dropped now. I would not be surprised if we saw that. As the main gold mines are finished, let's see, do we have any expansions anywhere on the map? Nope, doesn't look like there's any expansions. So both these players, this are the last units for both of these players. Fire Pride does not want to lose these, um... These raiders, these raiders are so important to him. If he does lose these raiders, those those are the last raiders he has left. Oh no! And it looks like that one raider will fall. More more peons are going to fall as well, though. As Fi is going to be pulling out all of these peons. This is the sort of the fi final battle for both these players. This over player it looks like he's doing pretty well, though. Nice to spell on these on this feral spirits, so that. They uh, are going to be loose so that they get dispelled and they're going to lose that much more hit points. Let's see what how the, these heroes are going to be doing. And we may see a surround on this one uh, Farseer. Ooh, no, and the Farseer does manage to get away. Oh, jeez, this is incredible. Right. A lot of peons are going to be falling as well, though. How much gold does Fire have? Not enough for any more peons. So this is sort of the last stand for Fire. Probably wants to try and take down as a, a hero if he can. Farseer very low on hit points. Does not does not have any money to buy any sort of healing potions or anything. Oh no, we may see the Fire Lord fall now. Oh no, the Fire Lord very low on hit points, and it looks like the Fire Lord is going to fall. Holy crap! That's that looks like it's going to be GG, and Fire is going to be forced to call GG. It looks like it's Farseer fell as well. So a very good game played by Fire. Very good playing game played by Yumiko. Very nicely done. I think that what really won that for Yumiko was killing off those orc bros with his summons. Really delayed um, Fire that much more for getting in as much units as he w as he wanted to. And what really killed Fire a lot was not getting those spirit walkers to dispel all that slow, which is exactly what he needed to be doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm probably gonna be I'm gonna be putting out one more uh, audio commentary. So please stay tuned for that. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, good night.